Hello everyone, the following screencast will explain our project for process modeling and simulation. Before we start solving the problem, I want you to meet my team, uh, which consists of myself, Shamma Bahri, Noor Al Aryani, Hasna Shamsi, Shamma Kitbi, and Fatma Naimi. This is the problem that we are going to solve. We have an electric heating element is emerged into a stir tank. The shaft work of a stirrer is 450 watt. We have an inlet solvent that have a temperature of 17 Celsius and a heat capacity of 1.8 and the inlet flow rate of this solvent is 16 kg per hour. The solvent that will leave the tank which, is, which will be heated uh, will have the same flow rate as the inlet solvent which will be 16 kg per hour. The tank is initially filled with a mass of 120 kg of the cold solvent which have a temperature of 10 Celsius. The rate of the heating of the electric coil is 1900 watt, which this is the Q in this uh, problem. And the thing that we must find in this uh, problem is the time required for the temperature of the solvent to reach 62 Celsius. We are going to solve this problem by mass and energy balance as well as using so, uh, simulink. To make the problem clear, here we have a diagram that shows all of the given information that were obtained from the problem. And the given information are uh, the inlet uh, and the outlet mass flow rate, the inlet temperature and the inlet heat capacity, the mass of the tank and the shaft work and finally the heating value of the coil. To make the problem more easier, we made some assumptions. Our assumptions are that we have a perfect mixing system, which means we have a lumped system. We have a constant physical properties, uh, which are the density and the CP, specific heat value, and there is no reaction taking place in the tank. The first step of the solution is to do the total mass balance. The total mass balance equation is the accumulation dm over dt equal mass in minus mass out. From the problem, we know that the inlet mass flow rate equal the outlet mass flow rate. This will give us that uh, the accumulation dm over dt will equal zero. The second step of the solution is to do the total energy balance. The total energy balance equation is shown here. Uh, we know from the problem that the mass of the tank is constant, 120 kg, and the specific heat capacity is also constant. And this will give us the following equation. To simplify the equation even more, we are going to divide both sides by MCB, the mass and the specific heat, to get, to get this equation. Finally, we are going to substitute the values that we have from the problem into the equation, as you can see here. And finally, the final equation, we are going to solve it by using Simulink. Now we are going to solve the previous equation using Simulink. We are going uh, to to use the commonly used block. We are going to draw the blocks which are integrator, scoop, and uh, the display. And we are going to put them and uh, connect them with each other. Now we have the integrator, scoop, and display. We are going to increase the size so it can be more clear. And then we are going to connect them. Uh, after that, we are going to name the integrator. It will be dt over dt. dt the temperature over d the time, the change in the time. And uh, the output of the integrator will be the temperature, t. And the initial condition of the temperature will be 10. So we are going to put 10 in the initial condition. And then we are going uh, to change the color of the integrator to make it more clear. We are going to change it into blue color. And now we are going to put the other blocks. We need a sum block and a constant block to do the 17 minus t part of the equation. So we will have a sum block, uh, sum block and a constant block to put the 17 inside it. We are going to connect them, connect them here and we are going to increase the size a little bit. And here is the constant block. We are going to put 17 inside it because it is the constant value. And we are going to change the sign. We, ha we, ha we, sh we should have a minus sign, so it will be minus positive. And it will be 17 minus the temperature. And the, the, this is why we are going to connect the minus into the temperature, which is the outside of the integrate the output of the integrate. 
And now we are going to um, draw the other uh, blocks. Uh, we will have, we should have again because uh, 17 minus t is multiplied by a constant. So we are going to put the gain and insert the value of, uh, of the constant, which will be 3.7 multiplied by uh, 10 to the power 5. So now we are going to put the gain uh, constant. And we are going to put the other, uh, the final uh, thing in the equation, which is, which is the sum of 0 0.01008. So we're going to put a sum block and a constant block. We're going to add uh, the other blocks that we've uh, drawn into the constant, which will be 0 0.0108. And we are going to connect it into the sum block because it is plus and finally to the integrator. And by this we are, we are done with the uh, blocks. And now we are going. We must find the time required to reach 62 Celsius. So here is the time. It is in second. So we are going to change the time and guess the time until we reach 62. So now by 1000 we have 20. We want to reach uh, 62. So we are going to increase it and guess uh, guess the uh, the time until we have the time that will make the temperature reach 62 so now we are going to keep guessing the time now we are getting close final guess and here by guessing 5135 we get the temperature which, is, which will be 62 so this is the answer of the question the time required to reach 62 Celsius is 5135 seconds. Uh, by clicking on the scoop, we can see a graph that shows uh, the temperature versus the time. And it is clear that when we increase the time, the temperature will increase. And here's the graph that shows this relationship.